Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Destiny video. It's Tuesday, it's reset day, which of course means I'm back to tell you guys what is new in the world of Destiny this week. It is a pretty standard week this week, but also don't forget that we have our live stream on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. UK time where Bungie are going to draw back the curtain on the Age of Triumph live event. So do expect some information tomorrow. A teaser trailer dropped yesterday. If you guys haven't seen my breakdown, then I'll link that down below. But of course, tomorrow I'll have all the news for you following the live stream. But anyway, for the time being, let's turn our attention to this week. If you do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. Any questions, drop them down below. But starting off with your Nightfall this week, it is the Cerberus V3 Strike. And your modifiers are Berserk, where minions of the darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. Brawler, where Guardian melee damage is greatly increased. Fresh Troops, where some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements. And Airborne, where players deal more damage whilst in the air. Of course, doing your Nightfall is a source of a guaranteed skeleton key, so hit that up if you guys are still chasing any of those items. Moving on to the Siva Crisis Heroic Strike playlist. Of course, you want to do this for one guaranteed Treasure of the Dawning, and of course, your 30 legendary marks if you do three. The modifiers on this one are Arcburn, Juggler, and Catapult. Of course, for any of you guys chasing Radiant Treasure, then your weekly Crucible this time around is Inferno Supremacy, so hit that up. You can grab some legendary marks in the process, as well as your Radiant Treasure. And if you guys are, for some strange reason, still searching for Sterling Treasure, then don't forget the level 41 version of the Prison of Elders is your place for that, as well as another 30 legendary marks. Speaking of the Prison of Elders, for Challenge of the Elders this week, your modifiers are Juggler and Small Arms, so no ammo drops for your equipped weapons, and primary weapon damage is favoured, and your bonus is Precision Kill Bonus. So aim for the head, aim for the stomach, you know the deal, and that'll give you more points. And as for your bosses, round 1 is Valorun, that is Cabal, round 2 is the Seditious Mind, that is Vex, and round 3 is Kexis the Betrayed, of course being Fallen. And of course, after that, for those of you guys still in search of 400 light gear, then the Wrath of the Machine raid challenge this week is Volsic. So super easy, jump in the front door, take him out, complete the challenge, and then job done. Some good, easy 400 light gear. And hopefully, once we find out more about the Age of Triumph event, there may well be more raids to factor in on a weekly basis. But of course, for that, we're going to have to wait and see. So, moving over to the vendors stopping in Fairwinter Peak, first up speaking to Tira Khan. This week, the artifacts on sale are Memory of Yolda, which removes your sprint cooldown penalty. You also have Memory of Silimar, which is the one where in the Crucible, resistance to damage over time attacks is greatly increased. And you also have Memory of Timur, which is the one where when you melee an enemy, you have a chance to turn them on your side, provided they are a minor minion of the darkness. So, grab one of those if you guys haven't got them by now. I'm pretty sure you've completed them all, but if you haven't, then they are this week's once. Moving over to Shiro 4, of course, his usual selection of weekly bounties. If you're going to be going into the Plague Lands in any capacity, then it's definitely worth bringing these with you. Hand of the Min has a chance to give you Thorn if you still don't have it. And of course, down below that are the class items that are on sale this week. So if you guys do want any of those, then feel free to grab them. Stopping off in the tower, speaking to Lord Shax, this is of course your weekly Crucible Bounty. So again, if you guys complete this, then that is a chance at Nightfall tier rewards. And if you're not seeing this, then you need to complete your Crucible quest chain. As for Commander Zavala, here are your usual strike scoring bounties. Again, handing these in is your chance for Icebreaker. So if for some reason you still haven't got it, like me, then definitely try and hit these up. Especially if you're doing strikes anyway, then it's definitely worth your time to grab these, hand them in, and then get a chance at that weapon. Sure, it might not be coming with you to Destiny 2, but at least for the time being, it is worth hanging on to. Then taking a stop in the reef, speaking to Pet Revenge, here are your usual weekly bounties. Of course, the first three are weekly, the latter three are daily, so of course, complete these if you so wish. There's not really a great deal to do with Pet Revenge, but for those of you guys perhaps going for completion, trying to sort of max out her rank, whatever you want to do, then that is an option. And of course, if you're going into the Prison of Elders in any capacity, then Varrox has some bounties for you, as always. So that is pretty much it. Again, reminder that tomorrow is the live stream, the first of three live streams. Tomorrow is the one where they're basically going to reveal what Age of Triumph is. And of course, following that, we'll have some more detailed information from that point out. So again, I'll have information for you guys if you miss it. So do keep it locked. But for the time being, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.